can't. I just can't. Sorry. I can't. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. It's Kat from Cat's Eye. This is the Cat's Eye where I keep my eye out from all types of makeup, from drugstore to designer stores. And this is just personal reviews of makeup that I've tried that I either love, hate, and some of them are just kind of in between. So I know it's February. Can you believe how quick January went? I did try several products in January and I did formulate a list of what was a gem and what was junk. So stay tuned to find out what was a gem or what was junk. So on the top of my list of junk, sorry, I don't want to start out negative, but I guess I'm going to, so maybe you could be forewarned. But um, I did try the Milani Conceal and Perfect Stick Foundation. Um, this is what it looks like. Yay! No, not yay. Um, basically, um, this one comes in 20 shades. It retails for $9.99. I got it off the Milani website. Um, when I saw the reviews on the actual Milani website, it got 2.5 stars. That should have told me something. But you know, I wanted to try it out and see how it would work for me because everybody's skin is different. Uh, my skin tends to be normal to dry and mature. <laughs> uh, being mature, my, my skin is over 50 years old. True story. Anyway, um, so reading about this, it, said, it, it brags that it says uh, it's transfer and water resistant and it has bamboo powder to absorb oil and lily extracts to lighten the look of pores. Well, I'm always looking for a good pore blur because uh, my pores are about the size of Rhode Island. So I was excited to try it. So when I did, I got it finally and um, I took it out. It honestly, do you remember back in the day when you were playing with your crayons, your Crayola crayon box and you had that peach crayon? That's what this is in a nice little package. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, first impressions, it is waxy. It was difficult to blend. I really wanted to try it. I wanted to put it on this video and show you a demonstration. The first time I tried it, oh my God, I couldn't wait to get it off my skin. It was like not blending into my skin. It had this weird, funky gray undertone. I was looking in the mirror and I was like, this doesn't even look like my skin. I swear I looked like a corpse. And I know I got a decent shade. It just, the undertone was just truly strange. If you have oily skin, this might work for you. But granted that it gave, the website itself gave it two and a half stars, like the people writing in. I'm gonna say this is junk. See you later. Which is so strange, and it's gonna bring me to one of my gems from Milani. This also came out, I mean, so many companies are launching so many new products. This is an actual gem. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I have been using this for the last several, probably about a week or so, and it's amazing. It has vitamin E to moisturize. So of course, if you're going to be putting it under your eyes, it's awesome to have that extra moisturization. So I highly recommend the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. Why they can't get on the same plateau or the same level with the stick concealer is beyond me. So Milani Perfect and Conceal Concealer, I give you a plus. Okay. Now also on my list, of being a gem and everybody knows this I, I think yeah this is probably across the board I've been seeing so many reviews on this drugstore foundation have you guessed what it is I think you have it's the L'Oreal infallible 24 fresh wear foundation yay this stuff is amazing and why is it so different from the other infallible foundations? That's a good question. Um, it states it's breathable. It has an SPF of 25. It feels light to the skin. It doesn't, It the texture is just luxurious. It glides right on. It blends beautifully into the skin. Um, 
I just think it's a, an all-around great drugstore foundation. Now, it does retail for $14.99, um, but you can get it at Ulta, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at Target, where I got mine, because you know I love Target. Um, and I actually got it for $11.99. And sometimes when you go shopping at Target, um, if you have that Cartwheel app, uh, you can get money that you didn't know you could get off on certain products all you have to do is check your cartwheel app and boom because this actually was $11.99 but I got an additional two dollars off so check those apps for Target Target is awesome I great store I practically live there yay um also okay another gem uh is this one where okay the benefit roller liner eyeliner this is the mini one. I got the little baby one. The little baby one. And this retails for $12.99. And I didn't get the full size because at $22, I was like, oh, it's just eyeliner. I know. Can you believe I just said that? So I thought, what better way to try it at $12? And I'm so glad I did because, I mean, I have small hands anyway. But this has, it's a felt tip, but it's very firm. And... It stays extremely matte so you can get in those really tight spots and create a wing. You know, well, I I kind of suck at wings. I admit it. I'm horrible at wings. It looks like something just landed on my face and, and I've been, you know, trying to perfect it. The bottom line is, is that I have really hooded eyes. So I try to draw a baby wing just so I could be a little bit in fashion with the wings but definitely recommend the benefit roller liner eyeliner this is fabulous this retailed at $12 it is the mini one okay so let's go with another gem um, this is an eyeshadow palette that I have reached for almost every single day it is the Tarte man eater palette boom shakalaka yes um, and the reason why this is such an amazing palette it's a beautiful blend of neutrals, you'll see right there, and the fallout is very minimum. You can actually go from a casual day look, and with these beautiful shades right here, you can get into a nice, smoky, glamorous nighttime look. Easy breezy, and I also love this palette because it smells like vanilla. It smells like a dream. It's like when you put your makeup on it, boom, you get a nice little treat smelling like vanilla mm. drinking my green tea because uh it's good for you and it has antioxidants so definitely recommend the man eater palette um it retails for $29.99 or no $29 I'm sorry and it's by Tarte uh it's got a cute little packaging here it's great to travel with um and uh it's got let me see three shimmers and one, two, three, four, five, six, six mattes. Um, and also Cat Call, which is this jet black right here. I was kind of leery of it at first because I thought, oh my gosh, it's gonna fall. I'm gonna have a lot of fallout with really jet black eyeshadow. Not at all. It stays put, it stays right tight in the waterline. Fabulous, fabulous palette for every day to go into nighttime. I highly recommend the Man Eater Palette by Tarte. And this, this has been out for a while, so you know you should be able to find it quite easily at Ulta, Sephora, whatever high-end uh, makeup outlets that you shop at. And let's see, uh, oof, I have one more that's, gotta say, junk. I love e.l.f., don't get me wrong. I love e.l.f. I've been, um, actually, today, I have the e.l.f. Putty Poreless Primer, which everybody has been, literally, these, been fly, these have been flying off the shelf. Thank you, Jeffree Star, um, because it has been compared to the Chacha Primer. I am actually experimenting today. I have the e.l.f. Putty Poreless Primer on the right side, and I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer on the left side. And actually, I really don't feel... A difference whatsoever so eight dollars fifty two dollars although I do have the baby Tatcha one yeah because I'm on a budget yeah that's me but no as far as elf is concerned um the baked hot the baked highlighter and blush this I was like okay let's try it out and you can see the highlighters here 
the blush is there. And so I'm at, I actually have it on today. And I'm actually wearing the Man Eater palette, the eyeshadow palette today. I'm actually wearing the Benefit Eye Roller. I'm wearing everything that I, that's a gem, except for the Milani, this crayon, waxy crayon. Anyway, so I decided to give this another go. And I, I took my beauty blender that was dampened, my beauty sponge, and I tapped it in. It just, for me, it just shows a lot of the texture right here. And, you know, my mature age, my... Hmm, older age you don't want to you don't want to draw a lot of attention to that area especially if you have fine lines and wrinkles so we try to keep keep that area fresh and clean but it's uh, yeah what do you think do you like it I don't know it's kind of kind of bright um, and one last gem that I love is from Catrice another drugstore product guys yay this is the Volumizing Lip Booster, and I got it in Pink Up the Volume. Um, I think I got this for $6.99. I saw it at Ulta, but I actually ordered it off the website. Um, I actually love this. It's a great neutral color. Um, does it really plump? You know when you first put on uh, plumping lip glosses, they start to sting and tingle, and you're like, what the heck is going on here? This one just mildly does this. Um, the formula is quite thin. Um, I'll be honest, it doesn't stay on for long. I mean, uh, I put on a good lip liner and then I fill it in with this. But it has a nice, natural glow to your lips. And, you know, sometimes when I have a heavy eye makeup on or a dramatic look with my eyes, this is a beautiful lip gloss to just have like a sheer natural lip. So, yeah, I'm super happy with these products. But... Anyway, that's just the scoop on January's best and worst. Uh, like I said, was it a was it a gem or was it junk? Uh, you decide. I hope this video helps you out. Um, like I said, uh, this is Cat's Eye, where I always have my eye out for makeup everywhere from the drugstore to the designer stores. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, tune in next Wednesday for my new video coming out and you'll just have to wait and see what it's all about. So have a great day or a great night wherever you are and don't forget to click up there, like us and subscribe. That button right there, okay? All right, well you have an amazing day and thanks for joining Cat's Eye. See you later and have a good one. Bye. Do I need a booster chair? I can't keep sinking. Um, oh my God, is moisturization a word? I think I need to Google that, moisturization. I don't think that's a word and I keep using it. Oh God, get your act together, cat. Okay, yeah, moisturization, not a word. Somebody help me with that. Okay.